Well, the Hoosiers landed Balo, and he's getting a big payday. We're going to talk about that. And Connor Asijan, Elijah Malone, are they coming to IU? Visiting in the next couple of days. We'll talk about all that and more on this episode. Walker, three on the way. Ah! Hello, guys. Thank you for joining me on Indiana Sports Connection. I am your residential anchor, Aaron. Thank you so much for being here and being part of this Indiana Hoosiers and Colts community on here. We are going to talk about today. I have a lot of stuff to talk about. We are going to talk about the Colts at the end of this. Will they move up and take Malik Neighbors at number nine? Peter Schrager's out there spewing this stuff out all over the place. Where did he get this information? The Hoosiers get that huge land in Balo. With Miles Rice coming in, what do we have to be looking forward to? And everybody is getting super giddy in Hoosier land here. Balo, he collected over a million dollars in the NIL deal. The Hoosiers had about $4 million to work with in their NIL money. Going after the top prospect, Balo, here. And he gets over a million to come to IU. And how is that going to change things? Making Indiana automatic contender in the Big Ten puts them almost right at the the very top by getting this guy there is one story i want to talk about and this is a really off the subject so in the past i have this tape and you would think like in you would think you know a tape would be home movies 1987 summer at lake of the woods and uh so i've been trying to play this tape for some time and it is almost impossible to find a VCR anywhere. I've been to all the pawn shops. I've been to gaming shops. I've been to places all around. And I refuse to just like order a VCR from Amazon. Like I refuse to order anything from Amazon. I've, I've never ordered anything from there and I never will. A neighbor down the road put a VCR up for free VCR for sale. So I'm like, great, this VCR, I'm going to go grab it. I go get the VCR. So many different things then that nostalgia wise i love nostalgia and so many different things start to spark into your mind it's like how do i even hook this up you know i go to walmart what do i need rca cables or coax cables i actually just got rid of my last coax cables because i switched from xfinity to frontier uh internet and now I have YouTube TV, so I have like no coax cables in the entire house. And I, I thought it just baffled my mind that things that were once everywhere, coax cables, VCRs, stuff like this, stuff like this that was once everywhere is now nowhere to be found whatsoever. So I go, I go to Walmart, I get the coax cables, I hook it up, you know, put the thing in, the VCR into the TV, really had to like really think deep because like and look up some youtube videos about how to hook this up because it's got to be on channel three you got to search for the channels then put it on channel three for the vcr to work and i do all this and i get my tape i put it in the vcr and what do i find is that somebody taped over the tape Somebody taped over the tape with like, as soon as I turned it on, I see Sandy Thompson from News Channel 15 on there. And I'm like, wow, like all this time wasted on trying to see what was on this tape and just completely down the drain. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for joining me on Indiana Sports Connection. We are going to talk about the Hoosiers, what they got coming in, what they got coming in this weekend. Even I like this guy, Elijah Moore, played at Prairie Heights High School right up here. That's like a school in the middle of nowhere, a tiny school um, just outside of LaGrange or that Ligonier, LaGrange area off of 20, right by the toll road. Also, Connor Siegen visiting indiana today everybody knows he's my guy and he is the guy that i want to play for the hoosiers in the two spot instead of galloway because i think miles rice and connor asijan at the two with Mbako at the three and then renew and balo at the four and five that's going to be that's going to be enough shooting i believe and will give miles rice an opportunity to shoot threes but not that he's like your number one guy that's got to fire him up i think that will give him more confidence over time to be the third best option on that three-point shooting behind a siege and baco and uh 
himself then thank you so much for joining me on this episode of indiana sports connection if this is your first time here hit that subscribe button down below hit that thumbs up button because that gets the video out to more hoosier fans all over the country all over the globe so that we can grow this indiana hoosiers community and there are indiana fans everywhere i am finding that out by running this channel it's just so great to hear from you in the comments down below i love the conversations that we have about the team about what's going on with the program and i have a giveaway also when i was at walmart getting the coax cables i found this shirt the guy who won the last winning cycle of the home field apparel at 750 subscribers he has not claimed his prize t boz 51 so subscribe to the channel Leave a comment down below and you will be entered to win some Colts apparel or home field apparel on the channel. Just thank you so much for being here and being part of this Indiana Hoosiers and Colts community. I have a hype video for Balo and Miles Rice that I will be showing today. Hopefully that gets you hyped up about these guys coming in and that is the purpose of it. Let's show, let's show a bunch of their highlights and what these guys can really do on the floor. This is the time where we really drink the Kool-Aid. You know, when we start putting all the pens and papers to work and we see everything on paper and we're like, we're gonna be so good this next year. And one person did leave me a comment yesterday that really kind of brought me back to earth where I thought, you know, once these games actually get started, then you start to realize it's all coaching in the Big Ten. It's all coaching. But right now, you know, we ease into it because, you know, in November, we play a lot of weak teams. In December, we're not quite into it yet. But three weeks into January, if this team's not winning, it's going to be world on fire again for Mike Woodson and everybody. And so that commenter, I do see your point because we do this every year and we're just going to have to see. But you know what? This is it for Mike Woodson. It is this or it's going to be like bye-bye for Mike Woodson unless he can get this team to play together and get them to play together in a way that's going to actually win basketball games. That means when the game is over, our score will be above the team who lost and we will not be the team who lost. So all of that <laughs> goes a long way. But let's take a look at this clip, what I put together of Balo. He is an intense, really just a physical specimen that can really take over a game. And then the next section of the highlight is of Miles Rice because he is a guy who can really create off the dribble. Two things that I, I believe like last year we lacked a dominant center. Although Kalal Ware had his times and he had his time scoring, he was just not that big, low, down low presence that you really need in the Big Ten. I think Balo makes us a big time contender, just number one coming in. We got the best center in the Big Ten right now, and uh, that's gonna go a long way. But let's take a look at these clips right here.
I love what I see out of these guys. Now, Elijah Malone that played at Prairie Heights, he has been playing at Grace College. He went there. I mean, I think partially he just wasn't recruited, and then like some of his friends went to Grace College. Really like what I see out of this guy. Also like what he can do shooting from some from the perimeter. Could he be a player that would be like Peyton Sparks? I, I hope not because of his outside shooting ability. He's 6'10", he's a load, he's got a nice shot, and he did, he was NAIA Player of the Year at Grace College, which is right... I believe in South Bend. You know, I'm really talking out of my ass because I don't know exactly where that is. But and then Connor Sejan visiting today. We could be getting word that he would come to the Hoosiers because he is my at this point with the guys we have already. I think we need a two guard that can shoot threes and that would fill that role. And that would put Galloway on the bench. That would put some other guys like further down the bench and then we're really talking business where we have Mbako, Asijan, Rice, Mbako and Asijan that would be our main two three-point shooters. And then Rice, who I believe will develop. I believe the uh, you know his stamina will be better just another year being away from the cancer and another year being able to work out. I believe his legs will get more into the shots and he will develop this year at the three-point line. All of that, as Hoosier fans, has us super, super excited. Now I want to transition to talk about Peter Schrager, who has been talking a lot about the Colts moving up, taking the Bears pick, trading with the Bears. And we know the Colts do have some strong relationships with the Bears. But would they move up to number nine to take Malik Neighbors from LSU? That would give the Colts a real one-two punch on the outside where even our main wide receiver, Pittman, is not great going deep. Alec Pierce has maybe be, would maybe be a guy that we would trade away if we got Malik Neighbors. And then Josh Downs would be even more effective in that slot position running across the middle if we had a guy that you'd have to double team on the outside to try to take it away. That would go a long way for Anthony Richardson throwing the ball down the field. I have really been barking this all through the offseason, not on this channel. I have not made a ton of videos about the Colts, and I apologize to you out there about that because this is just its super overwhelming following the Hoosiers and what's going on with this transfer portal, which has kind of breathed life into like another year for the Hoosiers after the season ends. And I have been doing research on the Colts, just not enough to really make videos about it and make the videos about that. So I would love to see the Colts get this guy. And I just want to apologize to you out there for not covering the Colts more. But this is a move that I would love to see for the Colts. We got everybody coming back next year. We got Taylor. We got Pittman. We got all the guys with the continuity Now's the time to bring in a top-level wide receiver. And everybody knows I want Brock Bowers, too. I mean, if we got Brock Bowers at 15 or we got this guy, we have tons of depth at defensive tackle. We have tons of depth on the defensive line. We're pretty sure up at the uh, linebacker position. We need corners in the draft, and I believe we will get those corners in the draft. But I just think we should use this pick. And if we got a guy like Neighbors or Bowers to make our offense a little bit better. Look, the NFL is just about offense these days. I know we need to develop these cornerbacks and we need good corner play, but the NFL, it comes down to this guy against this guy. You can see how Nico Collins tore us up in that playoff game. And we need a guy like that so that with Anthony Richardson, we can tear teams up. And we just have one guy. We're like, they, we can't stop that guy. And that's what every team wants is that dynamic outside playmaker. Malik Neighbors would be that. Is there any truth to any of this from Peter Schrager? No, there is not. Because Chris Ballard, he's going to do what he's going to do. And I, he is not the guy who picks certain players before the draft. Now, one thing that might happen, Jim Irsay, I don't know what his health is like, but he has stepped in before with Dallas Clark and said, we're taking Dallas Clark. Could it be a situation where he would step in and say, let's take a wide receiver? Who knows? But then that turns into a little bit 
Ballard has been here for eight years and the mediocrity has to end at some point. That might be where Jim Mersey steps in and says, let's make a move and do this. Now, would that let Ballard off the hook if it totally didn't work out? I mean, it would. But, you know, we're just going to have to see how all of this plays out. The draft is coming up and it's in Detroit. I might go to the draft and do like shoot a bunch of uh, videos and stuff like that up there. I'm thinking about it. I would love to see the Colts get a dynamic offensive piece that will help. That would really, really go a long way to help Anthony Richardson in this next year. Everything going on with the Hoosiers, everything going on with the Colts, it is absolutely fantastic what's going on with the Hoosiers right now. You know what? Drink the Kool-Aid, do whatever you got to do to get yourself hyped up for this year for Indiana basketball. Now's the time to do it because we got all summer to wait. Then football season will fire up. And then basketball season will fire up right after it. And it'll come so quick. It'll be like we didn't even spend the summer doing stuff with our family. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Indiana Sports Connection. And until next time, stay classy out there, Colts and Hoosier fans. Down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? Hey, Indiana Sports Connection. These days, I think cybersecurity is now as important as physical security. That's why when I'm online, I use NordVPN. NordVPN uses next generation encryption to keep my passwords and data safe, which is especially important when I'm traveling and I'm on public Wi-Fi, which is more vulnerable to hacking. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be traveling for the holidays this summer. Use NordVPN, one account that will protect all your devices and computers. And with their 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. 